Hello and welcome to this week's Coffee Morning. Uh, Wayne's got the day off, apparently he's gone water skiing or something, but uh, I hope he has a great time and he'll be back next week. Uh, this week we thought we would look at some of the illusions that were talked about during the last few Coffee Mornings, in particular the ones that Wayne performed on the Joe Longthorn Show as a guest appearance. Uh, so, without further ado, let's take a look at uh, one that uh, he didn't seem to understand why the premise was put together, but it, it's a great illusion all the same. Uh, this one's called The Grand Illusion. That was a fantastic illusion, the grand illusion by Wayne Dobson as performed on the Joe Longfall show like all the others that you're going to see today. My next illusion that I chose uh, is one that I would have loved to have done uh, but listening to all the different horror stories that go with this illusion I'm changing my mind slightly. Um, this is a great illusion, it, it looks fantastic and it gets the reactions that it deserves. So this is Wayne with the Impaler. Ladies and gentlemen, what you are about to see is not real, yet it goes beyond the bounds of mere illusion. It was invented around 10 years ago by an American, Ken Whitaker, and is so dangerous 
that only a handful of the world's greatest illusionists have attempted it. We advise those of a nervous disposition look away for the next three minutes as Wayne Dobson presents the terrifying Sword of Zeus. Wow, what a great illusion. And like I say, that the worst case scenario is that you will have a bad back at the end of it. But um, what a fantastic illusion and what a great reaction at the end. My last illusion for this week is, of course, the Table of Death. This has been performed by the likes of Chris Angel. But Wayne did it first. He was there before, Chris. So uh, have a look. Enjoy. Make sure that you like share and subscribe to these coffee mornings and we'll see you both wayne and i next week with a very special guest but until then take care and goodbye tonight i intend to enter a nightmare of my own making i shall be chained and handcuffed underneath this implement of death known as the spiker if i do not succeed in making my escape in 60 seconds this will be my fate But first, a song. And secondly, I'd like to mention that I've dismissed the human element that controls the release of this rope. Instead, I've placed down here a trailing fuse, which once ignited will burn for approximately 60 seconds along here and down here, along here, and reach this explosive which is inside this rope. And to verify these statements and also to light the fuse, I'd like to introduce to you now the Sheriff of Nottingham, Brian Marshall. Hello, Brian. How are you? All right. Yeah, you. Good. I'd like you to check everything is above board, i.e. check the spikes, make sure they're real and they're genuine. Would you do that for me? Make sure they don't break away. Thank you. I'd also like you to check these handcuffs and make sure they're real and they're locked. And there's no way apart. Good. Would you like to take a seat? No, thank you. Oh, you'll stand. I don't blame you. As you can see, I'm being leg cuffed. Would you check the leg cuffs? Make sure they're okay. Don't take too long. I don't like it under it. Are they okay? Okay. When I give you the command, would you light the fuse for me? Pleasure. Thank you very much. I'll make myself comfortable. The solid steel chains are passed across Wayne's body and padlocked into position. 
can restrict his movements still further, chains are looped through the hand and leg cuffs and held securely by two assistants. Now, although Wayne has said the fuse will take 60 seconds to burn, he cannot be that precise. It could take more time, it could take less. This unpredictable element makes the threat of the spiker even greater. Everything is secure? Okay, light the fuse. The one thing that is certain is Wayne must release himself and escape as soon as he can. Any time spent beneath those steel spikes is extremely dangerous. Mm-hmm.